Good morning, guys. Just left Whiz Hole Hostel. Um, it's cold this morning. My thermometer hasn't cooled off yet from the inside temperature. Um, the low was supposed to be 33 last night. It might have been. But what's worse than that is the crazy wind is so cold. Which is also crazy because two days ago it was 91 degrees at Dismal Falls. Two nights ago. Oh, goodness. It's cold. Um, I'll turn it around. I have a half a mile gravel walk to get back to the trail. So I don't know what you prefer to see. I can turn the camera around. All right, so about Woods Hole Hostel. Uh, the bunk room doesn't have central heating or air conditioning, but it does have a pellet stove. So the people who slept upstairs said it was really cold up there and there were mice running around everywhere. I heard a mouse twice in my stuff. Um, I heard it rummaging around like plastic bags, probably where my food bags are. So I kept kicking toward them to scare it away. Um, the the bunk house, not the bunk house, the building that had the shower stalls and toilets and stuff is also not heated. So getting up in the middle of the night is cold. Anyone who's showering this morning is gonna be freezing. Cause even though the water's warm, the surrounding air is cold and it's not very well sealed. You can still feel the wind blowing in. Um, otherwise, it was an okay place. Um, they don't have food and stuff unless you buy the dinner that they prepare and the breakfast that they prepare. They don't have any other options. I think dinner was 12 and breakfast is eight. So I passed on those. Um, all right, I'll see you when I get to the trail. 6.55, that's where I got off the trail yesterday. So that's where I'm getting on the trail. I don't know how many miles or anything I'm doing. My pack is heavy. I picked up that resupply yesterday at Trent's Grocery, but I bought a, bought a bunch of bars at the hostel because I really like bars. So I'll check in later. Rocky. Uh, it's not too bad. There's not any views or anything to really show. Um, it is windy. It's warming up though. Um, let's see. Thermometer says 36. It's mostly the wind that's cold. Alright, I'll check in later. I think that's Doc's Knob Shelter. I'm not gonna go down there because I don't need to. There's a privy by the trail. Huh. That looks really nice. It's elevated. It's got like a deck on it. All right, well, still nothing to see. Just in the middle of the woods. That's what hikers do, I guess. <laughs> First green tunnel of the day. Really pretty. Looks like there's a view coming up. Because you know they gotta clear the trees for the power lines. Let's go check it out. I think the trail goes. Actually, I'm not sure. But let's go see the view. Oh yeah! Wow, that's really pretty. Trail. There's a little bit of a view on the other side too. Oh, there's a lake down there. Or a river maybe. Beautiful. Alright. The barometer says 45 degrees. I think the trail goes that way. It's 10.05. I've gone 7.7 .7 miles. Um, I'm approaching, well, we'll be soon. Um, the intersection to go into Parisburg. And I was kind of debating going into Parisburg. I need to re permethrin my clothes. And the opportunity hadn't really come up where permethrin was available, where also wasn't raining or something. Like Uncle Johnny sold it, but it was raining. Erwin sold it, but it was raining and sleeting and snowing. Um, and I didn't need to do it early on. So 
I don't know, I've kind of been debating it. Pretty view that way. I also wanted to get some longer socks. I have ankle socks. I wanted longer ones where I could tuck my pant legs into my socks and have the ability to spray like bug spray around them. Um, but I guess that's not as important, especially if I promote through my clothes. I just try to make sure I check for ticks. So anyway, I'm still thinking about it. And honestly, the decision will probably be impulsive when I get there, just depending on how I feel and how much further I would have to go for the day if I include that distance. So I'll check in with you later. Ooh, another viewpoint. Wow. Everything looks so perfectly situated. It's beautiful. Rocky area. They keep having these little things with little lookouts. They're pretty. Let's go down. I think one of those is Angel's Rest Rock. I didn't go because I don't like rock climbing. I feel like I'm, I don't know, I'm just not brave. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'll pass. I've enjoyed the views from here so far. I think they'll, they'll suit me just fine. I think that's Parisburg. I don't have any way of knowing, but I'm probably getting close. And of course you can't see it through the trees. There's a river down there too. I'm about 3.2 miles to the where the AT where you can take the road into Harrisburg. But I stopped on this mountain to put my sweater and stuff back on. I'm on the north side, I guess, where the wind is picked up. So it's cold again. Um, I mean, it's not horrible. The sun feels nice, but it's not sunny over here. So um, it's about 10:37, I think. I don't know how far I've gone, but I'll check in later beautiful and green in here. Love it. Beautiful. Beautiful flowers. Oh, it's so presenting. It's so pretty green. I'm going to stop here at this water source and get some water. I don't think I'm going to go into Parisburg, but we'll see. So, I have to get water here because the next water is 6.1 miles uphill from here. Little tiny path of green and these purple flowers everywhere. It smells very good in here. Ah, it smells lovely. It's 12.11. And this is, I believe, where I would go into Parisburg, but I think I'm going to keep on going. The next shelter is 7.2 miles away, so I'm going to head that way. I don't really need anything right now. Um, I'd have to carry out the permethrin and take it to the shelter and hope they have a place to hang out close. And it's too windy to spray it anyway, so I'll hold off again. Okay, this AT is going along this bridge. And that should be Parisburg up there. my big climb for the end of the day. Got about a thousand feet, then it drops down and then goes up another thousand feet probably. Um, the weather's pretty nice. It's 75 degrees. It's windy. Um, my hat blew off earlier. Very green out here. Very lush and green and beautiful. This is my last thousand foot climb for the day. Ah, here we go. I think these are wild blueberries. It's a little faded. I'm blurry, sorry. But here, this one's got flowers on it too. The blueberries at home have white flowers, but look. Does it all look like blueberry? I don't know why it's blurry. I'll get a picture. 
There's a siren going off. Time is weird, it's 2.53 or something, it's not even on an even number. There's not really any clouds. I've seen any smoke. Huh. This is the water source for the next shelter. So yeah, there it goes. Which is Rice Field Shelter, and it's in about 0 0.6 miles. It's 3.15, I think, and there's a campsite exactly two miles from here. So because it's early, I, I think I'm going to keep on going to the campsite instead of the shelter. And that campsite has a water source. So it means I don't have to carry all this water up the rest of the hill. So I'm going to push forward, I guess, one and a half more miles than I had intended. But I feel okay. Got a view. I'm assuming it's Parisburg there and down there. But I don't really know. been seeing these plants and I think they're wild strawberries. Oh, I think that's rice field shelter on this bulb. It's windy up here. It's a pretty green privy in the back. You see that? Alright, I'm gonna go to that campsite. But it looks like there might be a view up here. Sorry, it's windy. I'm climbing up there. Far out says that is a cell phone tower, so I'm camping here nearby and I might actually have cell phone service. Pretty awesome, huh? I don't know how close I am to camp, but I should be within a mile and a half. So that's awesome. Gosh, it's windy. Alright. Just bump. He <laughs> Sorry about the wind noise. Alright, should be maybe a little bit more than half a mile to camp. Hey guys, it's 4.30. I already set up my tent. I'm at a campsite. The campsite that's a couple ma <laughs> a couple miles away from Riceville Shelter. Um, I haven't set up my air mattress or anything. I'm just chilling. My feet are sore because it was kind of rocky today. Um, that's all. But in case I don't say it later, I hope you're doing well and have a good night. Apparently today is day 50 on the trail. I didn't realize it. Dinner is ramen with quinoa, some vegetables. It's a soy ramen, by the way. And I think there's cheese in there. Those are carrots. Smells delicious. I'm hungry.